Hello, uh, let us now study about the topic twinning under these headings. Introduction like what is twinning? Twinning is means when a mother gives birth to two or more children, it is called twinning. If you see the incidence of twinning, normally the incidence of twinning is 1 in 80 childbirths for two children. If it is triplets, it is 1 in 80 square and if it is quadruplets, it is 1 in 80 cube likewise. The important aspect in the twinning is classification. So, we have two types of twinnings that is the least one, least important like I mean less significant is monozygotic twinning which forms only one fourth of the total amount of twinning or 25 percent, but the commonest is dizygotic twinning which comprises to 75 percent of the total incidence. Let us go with the common thing first, how this happens? Dizygotic twinnings, name itself is saying the two zygotes are formed. How the two zygotes are formed? Two ovum are released either from the same graphene follicle or from two different graphene follicles in a single ovarian cycle. It is fertilized by two different sperms resulting in two embryos which are asimilar which may be of same sex or different sex depending upon which type of sperm is fertilizing whether it is containing X bearing X chromosome 1 or Y chromosome 1 and they have the two children have different genetic material different blood groups etc. And the incidence of twinning in dizygotic one is two boys are commonest followed by a boy and a girl and the least is two girls. So that is about dizygotic twinning. The rare one which comprises to 25 percent of the total incidence is monozygotic wherein only one ovum and one firm sperm will unite giving rise to single zygote and at various stages of development that single zygote will result into two embryos. The resulting offsprings are fraternal that means they look alike, they are same in appearance, belongs to same sex, possesses same genetic material and is contained with same blood group. The causes are fascinating and accordingly it can be classified into monozygotic bichorionic monozygotic bichorionic type which comprises to around 25 to 30 percent of the total incidence of monozygotic twinning wherein after fertilization when the zygote is dividing into two blastomeres each blastomere which is pluripotent will develop into separate embryo and those two embryos are se containing separate chorionic sac, separate amniotic membrane and that is called as monozygotic by chorionic type. Second variety which is more commonest is monochorionic by amniotic which comprises to around 70 to 75 percent of the total incidence wherein 
at blastocyst stage so this is inner cell mass this one is inner cell mass or embryoblast this one is outer cell mass or tropoblast at this stage of blastocyst this blastocyst after implantation splits into two like in the form of figure of 8 like if you see it may split like this in the form of figure of 8 thereby this becoming one embryo and this becoming another embryo but sharing a common chorionic sac and like having a separate amniotic membrane so this type is more commonest and the third one is rare that is monochorionic monoamniotic so this is around 2 to 3 percent where in at <coughs> second week after fertilization if you see when there is formation of two germ layers like this is epiblast and similarly the below one which is the hypoblast these two germ layers in the second week a separate special organizing center appears and separates into it into two separate embryos sharing a common chorionic sac and sharing a common amniotic membrane during this process few hazards can be seen can be formed and those hazards is conjoint twins number one conjoint twins and number two parasitic twins so under this type of twinning these hazards can be formed under that first one conjoint twinnings you might have heard two embryos or two child united by the head which we call it as when the two heads are united which becomes difficult to separate that we call it as craniophagus similarly the two embryos are united with the thoracic region that we call it as thoracophagus similarly with the abdominal region that we call it as omphalophagus or similarly with the back region the sacral region gets united that we call it as phygophagus or it can be a combination of this like cranio thoracophagus where the head is united and the thorax is united so all these possibilities can happen in this type of twinning which is rare that is monochorionic and monoamniotic then second one is parasitic twins under this type when the two embryos are growing one embryo grows normally gets its blood supply normally whereas the second one loses its blood supply eventually doesn't grow and become like a parasite to the main growing one and that condition is called as <coughs> feto in fetus so this is all about the twinning and its hazards thank you